Okay, so as you can see, I've got this wire basket rigged up. Um, this is an MR2 master cylinder out of the project car. And uh, what I need to do is actuate the master cylinder by pushing this rod in and the hose will carry the hydraulic fluid to the throw out bearing, which will push the throw out bearing, which will push on the diaphragm fingers, which should disengage the clutch. Um, first thing I gotta do is pump it up because uh, earlier I was demonstrating how I had plenty of room for wear. Well, I squished all the hydraulic fluid out of the bearing by doing that. So now it's pumped up. Now in order to uh, actuate the throw out bearing and the clutch, you normally push on a clutch pedal with a with the uh, lever that's attached to that and uh, I didn't want to rig all that up here this is just a quickie test so I rigged this up and as I push this in the diaphragm fingers the throwout bearing should move the diaphragm fingers get pushed in and the disc should um, become unclamped between the uh, pressure plate and the flywheel and you may hear it fall because it'll be totally loose and there it goes it went thunk because it just it just dropped because there is no transmission input shaft holding it in place keeping it from dropping so the only thing that was holding it was friction so i don't know if you can see in the video but i'm pushing the diaphragm fingers in so now i'm going to push the i'm going to move the disc back up so it's centered again let it clamp down and if you do that watch your fingers you don't want to get them clamped in there that's 2,000 pounds of pressure or something like that okay so that's the test everything works obviously i ran this test before i made the video so this was just a demonstration of the test by the way this is the uh, steel flywheel that i purchased the one that's on there now is an aluminum flywheel this is the steel one i'm not going to use it um, it didn't have the correct dimensions either unfortunately thanks for watching